Hey chicas, welcome to Coding for Chicks. So far we've learned a number of things. We've learned about variables, we've learned about if sentences, while loops and lists. What I want to do today is to create a program combining all of those things. I gave it a long hard thought and I figured that creating Hangman might be quite interesting for everybody. It's such a fun game and it's relatively easy to create. But first things first, when you get a project as a programmer you have to break it down into pieces. It's just like with the elephant, you're unable to eat it unless you do it one bite at a time. So what do we need? Make Hangman. First, we'll need something to keep the word that we're trying to guess. So we need a string for the real word. We also need something to keep the lines that represent the word we're trying to guess. And in this case, I would like to use a list. So we need a list for the letters we are trying to guess. Then we need something to keep the ladder we are currently guessing. So let's say I'm guessing P, I need something to keep that P. So we would need a string for the ladder, ladder we are guessing. Now we are not allowed to guess forever, are we? So we will need something that will help us determine if we have guessed too many times or not. In this case, we're going to use a loop. So we need a while loop that will let us guess until we're out of guesses or we want to end the game. How many times are we allowed to guess until the game ends? We need something to keep that number. We need an integer uh, counter for the allowed amount of guesses. As you may have realized, this video is going to be a little bit longer than the ones you're used to, but bear with me. We're going to work as a programmer by using the knowledge you already have. So it's going to be quite useful and a lot of fun. So I've just split my screen. Now my uh, notepad is here on top and my Python is here below. So let's start working. So we needed a string for the real word. So I'm going to start with S of course, and let's just call it real word. And uh, I want to allow the user to input the word himself. So I'm going to use our raw input, the one we have used before, and tell the user, write the hangman word in capital letters. Now that was our raw input function. Now let's create our list. So L for list, of course, and we're calling it shown word. I'm going to represent each letter that hasn't been guessed as an underscore like that. Now, at this point, I only have one letter, but I need a letter for each of the letters in the real word, don't I? Okay, so I'm going to multiply that one letter with the length of the real word. As you can see, you can also use the length function for strings. I recommend that if you find anything confusing that we have done to print out the variables. For example, if you find this uh, L shown word method confusing, just print it out. L shown word. Then of course our program starts by printing out the text in the raw input and you can just put gibberish here. And now you will see our list for the gibberish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. We're obviously on the right track, so let's get back to it. Now I'm just going to remove that because we don't need it. Next thing we need is the string for the letter we are guessing. Uh, I'm going to call that S input because I'm going to use it also to end the game. So you can write end into it if you want to end the game or a letter if you're still guessing. So the next thing on the menu is a while loop and we know this. So we just write while parenthesis parenthesis and colon. Then it's the integer counter for the allowed amount of guesses. So I allowed guesses and let's say what 10. Okay, that sounds good. 
we obviously need to fill in the while loop and add more things so just let's just fill in the while loop first and as i said i was going to use my input also to end the game so while i haven't written end the game is still going to run but that's not enough because i can also end the game by finishing the allowed number of guesses so or while i allowed guesses is not equal to zero. Zero. Now I just need to figure out what I'm going to do while the game is running. Hmm. The first thing we need to do is to tell the user how many underscores there are so he can start guessing the letters. So we write print the word you're looking for is now I've already shown you how to print out the L shown word, but the thing is, it is a list. And as we know from before, we will need to change it to a string by using the str function. So L shown word. Now this is a string and this is a string and this can be printed out together. So the next thing we want to do is get the input from the user. And then we use our input variable that currently has only an empty string. And we're going to use the raw input function and write uh, enter letter in capital letters. Okay, now we need some way of comparing the input we have entered, the letter we are guessing, and the actual letters in the word. In this case, I would prefer to use a for loop. We haven't learned it yet, so I'm going to stick with our while. However, if you want to look it up yourself and try and play around with it, I encourage you to do so. But we're going to go over it in the next lesson, so you can also just wait. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through each letter in the S real word, and I'm going to compare it to the letter that is in the S input, or the letter we're guessing. And I'm going to see, hey, is this the same letter or not? So I am going to write my while here. And firstly, I need the length of the S real word, but I must need something else. How can I know if I've finished going through all the letters or not? Hmm. For this, I'm going to create another variable. I will call it I letter number, which stands for the counter of the letters. And while my letter number is still less than the length of the real word, I'm going to do something. What is important to know at this point is that in some sense we can look at a string as a list of single letters. If we were for example to look at the string panda then each of the letters has a position. So P would be number 0, A would be number 1, N would be number 2, D number 3 and A number 4 just like in a list. Okay, so if we know that, we know also that we could just write s real word and use i letter number as the position for each of the letters and then we could compare that to the s input. So if one of the letters in the s real word is the same as the s input, we want to see a letter instead of an underscore, don't we? Okay, so this is about substitution, isn't it? So we just need to take our list with the underscores and find the exact same position there as in the real word and substitute that underscore with the S input. One thing is actually missing from our while loop. If we look at the I letter number, we can see that it is currently zero. And that is not changing no matter how many times we loop through the loop. What we need to do is jump out of our if statement and increase the I letter number by one each time we loop through the loop. Now what do we have? We have a part that is reading the input. We have a part that is comparing the real word to the input. And what do we need more? What about the I allowed guesses part? Hmm. So what we need to do is that we need to remove one allowed guess each time we run the loop. So I allowed guesses minus equals one. So each time we remove one. 
But what if we've already run out of gases? Of course, the loop is not going to run if we've already run out of gases. But it would be nice to get some sort of a game over or something when we're finished with what we're allowed to guess. So if I allowed guesses equals to zero, we're going to do stuff. How about just printing you're out of guesses game over? What more do we need? Maybe something that will indicate if we have won the game. So how about adding a variable called I write guesses that is going to count our right guesses. So each time we guess correctly, we're going to do I write guesses plus equals one. So we're going to up the value by one each time we guess correctly. Now we only need the part that will tell us that we have won. So how about adding that here? If I write guesses is equal to, so what should it be equal to? Shouldn't it be equal to the length of the real word? So if we have guessed each letter correctly, then the amount of right guesses should be equal to the length of the word we're guessing, right? So we do length of the real word. And we're going to print out, woohoo, you've won. So what's going to happen now is that the loop is going to continue looping because we have neither written end as an input or finished our guesses. So what we need to do is we need to write a break here that will finish the loop if we have won the game. Now we have almost finished writing our code, but I just need to remove the panda from down here. It was just to show you how it works. There is actually one mistake in the code. Have you found it? I'm going to give you a hint. It's from the while video. If you would like to take a second and look at it and see if you find it, that would be quite interesting. But if not, then just continue watching. See, the or here should be something different. It should be and, because both of these expressions have to be true at the same time. So my input can neither be and nor can I have finished my guesses or the loop cannot loop. So the only thing I have left to do is tidy up a bit. So maybe I should add something that will tell me how many guesses I have left. That is easy. The only thing I have to do is just print out you have and then use the I allowed guesses. But first, of course, use my string function. Allowed guesses and then plus guesses left. Some instructions for the beginning of the game would be appropriate, wouldn't they? Let's put them here outside of the loop so they don't repeat every time we guess a letter. And I go print, let the games begin. You have 10 guesses. Type end to end the game. Let's say we were playing the game with a friend and we would be the one to enter the hangman word. The problem is that currently there are no spaces between the hangman word we just entered and the input instructions. So our friend will see our hangman word. That is no good. We need to change this. What we can't do is just create a gazillion empty spaces like this. Or use something called backslash n to create a new line. And we would just repeat that again and again instead of the print statement. Then, of course, the final option is to use a while statement, which I recommend that you do to create all of these new lines. But just to save time, I'm going to use the backslash n possibility. Okay, so we take a final look over our code just to make sure everything is as it should. And <gasps> no, the horror! The I letter number is not going to be changed back to zero. We forgot to do it. Thankfully, all is not lost and we are able to change it. So we just add this here. I letter number equals zero. The reason is that after each loop, we must put it to zero or this part won't work. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to be done. Now let's run and see what happens. 
Write the hangman word in capital letters. Pony, of course. See, we can't see the word that has been written, so our friend will not be able to guess it just by looking at it. It's up here. Enter the letter in capital letters. Wrong, nine guesses left. P. Woohoo, right, and it's showing. <gasps> I'm so smart. Woohoo, I have one. Our program works. This is completely awesome. As always, I encourage you to play with it. Change some text, add something somewhere, or do more functionality. Just play with it, be creative, have fun. But seriously, do you know what you just did? You created a computer game. How awesome is that? Yeah, Ooh, wow, the crowd goes wild. That is all I have for you today. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, comment on my video, follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. But most importantly, continue programming. Thank you for listening. This is Coding for Chicks.